Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the different methods to play Baldur's Gate 3 on your Mac until its official macOS version gets its release later this year. The methods that will be explained next are Crossover combined with Apple's Game Porting Toolkit, Boosteroid, GeForce Now, Parallels, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Both Crossover and the Game Porting Toolkit work fine separately, but it's the fusing of the two that results in the best way to play games locally on your Mac. When used separately, Crossover isn't able to run DirectX 12 games, and the Apple's Toolkit is very difficult to work with, requiring extensive use of the terminal commands, not to mention annoying bugs such as Steam not opening properly. Using these tools together with the help of the CX Patcher app gives you the best of both worlds providing extensive game compatibility and a user-friendly interface with much fewer bugs. To play Baldur's Gate 3 on your Mac using Crossover, together with the Game Porting Toolkit, first you'll need to install macOS Sonoma on your Mac, or else the toolkit won't work properly. And since Sonoma is still in a beta state, we recommend installing it in a separate volume. To do that, first follow the Sonoma download link in the description and download its latest version. While the Sonoma installer is downloading, go to Applications, Utilities, and open the Disk Utility app. Then select your Mac's container from the left. Click the plus volume button and choose a name. Then click add, and once the volume is created, click done. Next, when the Sonoma installer downloads, open it, follow the prompt, and change the installation location to the new Sonoma volume. Once it's complete, go to the application folder of the Sonoma volume and find an app named Install macOS Sonoma. Double click that app, click continue, then agree, Click the Show All Disks button to see all your partitions, and change the installation location to the Sonoma volume. When in Sonoma, download Crossover and install it on your Mac. As a courtesy to our viewers, you will get 10% off the purchase price if you use the affiliate link in the description. You can also choose a 14-day free trial in case you want to just take it for a spin before deciding whether to commit to the service. Okay, now we'll need to download the latest version of the Game Porting Toolkit and CX Patcher Links are available below. Open the downloaded toolkit file to mount it. Now minimize its folder, then extract the contents of the CX Patcher zip file and relocate the extracted app to the Applications folder. Next, open the Patcher. If it won't open, type this command in the terminal. Then drag and drop the CX Patcher icon into the terminal and run the command. Then enable both of these options and click on Locate External Resources. Then select the toolkit drive from the left, open it, and drag and drop the Crossover app into the patcher. You should now see a note saying that Crossover has been successfully patched, which means that you can now run DirectX 12 games in it. All that's left to do now is create a new Crossover bottle, disable the DXVK feature, then download Steam, and install the game. After that, you can launch Baldur's Gate 3 through Steam as if you're on a Windows PC. If you're having issues starting Baldur's Gate 3, right-click its icon in Steam, go to Manage, Browse local files, then open the bin folder, and double click the file you can see on the screen. The game should now start normally. If the previous method seemed a little bit time consuming, then you can also try cloud gaming. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space, don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection or being far from the cloud gaming servers that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual quality. An important thing to consider here is that not all cloud gaming services support all game stores for a particular game. In the case of Baldur's Gate 3, the game is currently only available in Boostroid and GeForce Now cloud gaming platforms. With Boostroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's visual quality to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. Since your experience with Boostroid is entirely determined by the stability of your connection to its servers, we recommend testing your connection on their website. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boostroid site then register or use the Google Sign Up option, and once you're logged in, click the Network Test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only two bars, 
This doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection, and while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly okay for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above 2 bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top, click on the play button, and click on OK let's go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated Mac OS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox as the service seems to work best with these two. To start the game in GeForce Now, click the link in the description, register on the GeForce Now site, and choose the subscription plan you think is best for you. Then visit the site's download section and download GeForce Now for Mac OS and install it. After that, launch the app and log in. Search for the game, click it, and click play. An automatic internet connection test will be performed, after which you can begin playing. If you get warned that your internet isn't good enough, you can ignore that warning and still play the game, but you may experience lag and stuttering. Parallels is like crossover, but rather than providing a compatibility layer, Parallels creates an entire virtual machine for Windows. This gives you the option and provides a more stable platform for running Windows software, but it also requires your Mac to support two operating systems at the same time, meaning that only half of the resources can go to the game that's running in the VM. For this reason, we recommend Parallels only to users who have a powerful M1 or M2 Mac, as those are the only machines on which you can get a decent gameplay performance with Parallels. To set up Parallels Virtual Machine, start by clicking the Parallels link in the description and downloading the app. Next, install the app, open it, and click on the Install Windows option. After some loading, a Windows Virtual Machine will be created on your Mac. To access it, you'll first need to create a Parallels account or choose one of the sign-up options. Here's where you need to choose whether to purchase the app or to use the 14-day free trial. We recommend the second option as it lets you test the waters and see if you're satisfied with the gameplay experience through Parallels. Once in the Windows VM, starting the game is a simple matter of downloading the respective game launcher, installing the game, and starting it as if you're on a Windows PC. Finally, Bootcamp lets you install Windows in a separate partition only on an Intel Mac. This is a viable method that ensures full compatibility with Windows software, including Baldur's Gate 3, but it requires a ton of storage space and quite a bit of time to set up. The plus side is, unlike Parallels, it lets you use all your Mac's resources for the game, but the computer will still need to meet the game system requirements. So, if you own an Intel-based machine, have enough storage to accommodate two operating systems, and you're willing to spend a couple of hours to get everything ready, you can give it a try. To use Bootcamp, first download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, and then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant tab. Load the Windows file in it, and give enough space for the Windows partition, say around 50 to 80 gigabytes, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, Simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. So those were all the methods for playing Baldur's Gate 3 on Mac that we found and tested. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.